Hi guys. Today we will see the next part of carbohydrate metabolism that is TCA cycle. The other name for TCA cycle is Krebs cycle. What is Krebs cycle? It's an actually oxidation of pyruvic acid into CO2 and water is called Krebs cycle. Pyruvic acid as we have seen in the earlier video. Pyruvic acid is the end product of glycolysis from glucose breakdown of glucose taking place and at the last step pyruvic acid is formed which enters into Krebs cycle and finally get converted into CO2 and water. So this cycle is also called a citric acid cycle because the cycle begins with the formation of citric acid. Citric acid is a carboxylic acid containing three carboxylic groups. Hence this cycle is also called a tricarboxylic cycle or in short TCA cycle. This cycle was first described by Krebs. That's why name of this cycle is Krebs cycle. This cycle occurs only in presence of oxygen. That is only in aerobic condition. Hence it is called an aerobic process. It takes place in mitochondria. So this is an overall reaction that takes place in Krebs cycle that is pyruvic acid along with the coenzyme A get converted into acetyl CoA and CO2. This is the whole cycle. Here pyruvic acid along with the acetyl CoA get converted into citric acid with the help of enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase complex and this citric acid is converted into cis aconitate cis aconitate and then this cis aconitate in the presence of enzyme aconitase it is converted into isocitric acid and this isocitric acid in the presence of enzyme isocitric dehydrogenase get converted into oxalosuccinic acid. This oxalosuccinic acid is converted into alpha ketoglutaric acid which is a 5 member drink with the help of enzyme decarboxylase. One carbon which has been reduced from this oxalosuccinate to uh, ketoglutrate removes in the form of CO2. This alpha ketoglutrate is converted into succinyl CoA with the help of enzyme alpha ketoglutrate dehydrogenase complex. And this succinyl CoA is converted into succinic acid and succinic acid is converted into again fumaric acid with the help of enzyme succinase dehydrogenase. And fumaric acid is converted into malic acid or in other words malate with the help of enzyme fumarase. This malic acid is converted into acetane oxaloacetane and this oxaloacetane then again enters into the next cycle and this way this Krebs cycle continues in this cycle we get lots of energy in the form of ATP here these are the byproducts that is pyruvic acid citric acid cis aconitate isocitrate, oxalosuccinate, alpha ketoglutrate, succinyl CoA, succinic acid, fumaric acid, malic acid, oxaloacetate or oxaloacetic acid. If you see here, it's very easy to remember the name of enzymes which are involved in each step because the name of enzyme corresponds to the previous product. For example, here, isocitric acid is converted into oxalosuccinic acid with the help of enzyme isocitric dehydrogenase. Here also alpha ketoglutrate is converted into succinyl CoA while the enzyme is alpha ketoglutrate dehydrogenase. Succinyl CoA is converted into succinic acid with the help of enzyme succinyl thiokinase. Likewise, it's very easy to remember the enzyme. Now the energetics of TCA. In citric acid cycle, per turn from one molecule of acetyl CoA, 12 ATPs are generated. But as we have already seen in glycolysis, one molecule of glucose produces two molecules of pyruvic acid. Hence, total in one citric acid cycle, 12 ATPs are formed. And as we 
have two pyruvic acid molecules so total of 24 ATPs are generated. Details are as follows. Isocitrate dehydrogenase, two NADH molecules are produced and each NADH molecule gives us three ATPs in ETC cycle. Similarly, in alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase enzyme, again two NADH molecule is produced which produ gives six ATPs. In thiokinase, direct two ATPs are formed. In succinyl, succinate dehydrogenase, two FADH2 molecules are produced. Unlike NADH, FADH molecule, each FADH molecule gives us two ATPs. Malate dehydrogenase produces two NADH, that is six ATPs. So total of 24 ATPs are generated only in TCA cycle. And if we see the whole energetics of glucose metabolism that is glycolysis plus TCA. So in glycolysis pathway as we have already studied 8 ATP molecules are produced while 6 ATP molecules are produced from 2 NADH molecule produced by pyruvate dehydrogenase from conversion of pyruvic acid molecule into acetyl CoA. So thus total of 38 ATP molecules are generated per molecule of glucose under aerobic condition. This is the summary. One glucose molecule under aerobic condition completely oxidized into carbon dioxide and water and gives us 38 ATPs. So this is all about TCA cycle. For more videos, you can search my channel by Dr. Muhammad Imran. Thank you.